so what's up? Tiny Tunes Tuesday. Take oh. a breath. Oh, sh- God. Mm. I'm knocking my guitar around. My little cute guitar. This thing is a piece of shit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But I had a really nice travel guitar and that broke. It did? Yeah. What? It's, in, it's in the guitar graveyard in the attic. Uh, it's got some uh-huh. abbreviated got some two name name to it it's some kind of fancy Simon guitar. and Patrick mm, Simon and Patrick maybe someday you'll get it repaired mm. easy come easy go <laughs> disposable huh <laughs> just living in the, the attic like, the Barlow attic I like to keep my life disposable you know what except, we need to get oh sorry go ahead sorry quickly no except in manners ahead. of the heart except in manners of the heart I'm not disposable. No way, baby. <laughs> Neither no. are you. Neither are you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Um, you look like you, you're you're itching to to play. Yeah, I am because I started writing a song and I'm going to forget it if I don't play okay. it like now. Okay. And I didn't. That's I didn't exciting. actually document it. But this. Oh. It's kind of been a rock and roll day today. I kind of feel like I'm out on a rock and roll tour. Like this whole thing with. These guys work really hard, and they don't get any sleep. It's insane. Mm. It's insane. <laughs> they, they sleep when the tour is over. Semis every day and commandeering the local help. Oh God, it's amazing! Like, boy, yeah. So this is my road tune because we just landed yeah. here. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Okay, let's see where we are now. Okay, let's see where we are now. Okay, let's see where we are now. Another American town. Another 10 hour ride. Another sleepless night. Okay, let's see where we are now. Another Canadian town. (laughs) They ask you what your favorite place is. I don't know, they're all the same. When one is longing to be home, another wants to be alone. With you, with you. Okay, let's see where we are now. Let's take a new bird into town. In our rooms, we glide away. Another day, another day. Another day, another day. That's the beginning of a great little ditty. I like it. It's very catchy. And uh, yeah, it's the it's like the the tale of the traveling musician. Yeah, I was feeling I don't know, I was feeling a little bit of the open. I was feeling a little bit of the road. Mm. You know, just <laughs> Life on the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Rolling gosh. Rolling down the road. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I know. It's like fucking stuffy bunks. <laughs> whistling <laughs> Willie, whistling Willie the air vent in full effect. Full mm-hmm. effect. Oh, I fucking recorded it. Do you want to oh, hear you it? Are you dead? Yeah. I did. I recorded whistling. It's Willie. not it's not the made up one, it's the real one. No, it's the real one. <laughs> okay, whistling Re- Willie. For really? Yeah, so I, it'll take me a second to get this going here, but. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> that sounds like like Rudolph, Ooh. New East wow. in the North. 
Yukon <laughs> Cornelius. It does. <laughs> the abominable snowman. Yeah. Dun, dun, oh dun. He's like getting ready to throw his huge snowball. Yeah. Oh, God. So that's just right by your ear, huh? Fine. Yeah. Okay. But then I, I noticed that one of my ears hurt it better than the other one. I'm like, oh, so I do think I have some significant damage to my my right ear. I say significant. It's not. Whatever. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's Are you hard. drinking coffee? Yeah. Are you high? You seem kind of like a little bit. Um... Honey. Yes. I'm high. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of, you, you seem, you know. Oh, I got some edibles in Washington, D.C. last night. <laughs> uh huh. It was really hard to figure out how to actually get stuff from the dispensary because it has addresses and then you go to the address and it's not there. And then you look online and find out that they're like, they're a delivery only or appointment only. It's appointment and delivery only. Okay. So, and it took me like two days to figure this out because I got there and I'm like, you know, I kind of like. So you really put in the work and the time for this. I wanted to Mm -hmm. have some edibles on my day off because there's Mm going to be a lot of days off. And, you know, a day off and some edibles is a Mm -hmm. really nice combination. I'm telling you. Yeah. The work. The legalization of marijuana is a good thing. Truly. Yeah. It's a good thing. I don't, you know, because look, we're drinking alcohol. <laughs> You're fucking getting drunk. You should be able to get high. That's just, I mean, really. I mean, fucking cigarettes are a still ball. legal. Gosh, I mean, cigarettes think about are still that. legal. Yeah, these, I didn't really know how strong these particular yeah, gummies you seem, were. You seem pretty fucked. I, so, I've been high. I've been high on this show before. Well, I I'm aware of that dear, of yeah. course. Okay, but this whatever this not... whatever the strain is, it I can just really. Uh... <laughs> um, it's visual. Well, it's one of my favorite strains, which is the sativa strain. <laughs> uh, so, so, how many did you take? One. Okay. And a half. Wow. Uh huh. So. Uh huh. <laughs> so I'm kind of in a hurry. I'm out on the street waiting for my man. Literally, I'm waiting for my man. Wow. In District Square near the wharf in <laughs> Washington, D.C. <laughs> Packed with people. It's awesome. The place sure. is completely alive, brimming with life. Um, I'm waiting on my, my man. I felt kind of. You're waiting on your marijuana. Then, but then <laughs> this guy came up to me, this guy holding a Whole Foods bag, and he goes, like, Hey, man. He's like staring up at the building. He's like, This. Where's the dispensary that's supposed to be here? It's like, uh, I'm looking on my map and it says it's right here. And, and this is, he's basically reenacting my whole prior day. I did exactly Just a the random same thing. stranger. Yep. He, just, he asked me. I didn't ask anybody when I, I was doing it. Were I you just, wearing just, your just, Mr. Rogers shirt? No. Oh, uh-uh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should just wear that fucking 24 7 from now on. I know. I need more. I gotta get you more had to find the helper's vibe, I guess. You're the I helper, so okay. maybe the shirt really does. I mean, maybe I should really. It's kind of like my backstage pass. Yeah. Between my backstage pass, my all access <laughs> Weezer backstage Woo. pass. That's hot. That's really Woo, sexy. I can't even yeah. show it to you on the screen right now. I know. I can't Don't. even do that. Yeah. No. This is a <laughs> fucking. This is a the golden that, key. That's the golden ticket. That's oh my like God. the power. The power and that and the Mr. Rogers shirt, like what it does when I'm walking around town, people come to me for help. Of course. Mr. Amazing. Rogers famously said that I think his mom said to him about when there was a scary situation and you don't know what to do, you look for the helpers. And so. So this guy, although the, I was anyway, not wearing the, the shirt, I would, I'm sorry. I'm you you still had the vibe. Yeah, you had the I vibe. Know, we get, we, Got to keep this. This is sure. Tiny Tunes Tuesday. Okay, keep going. Okay. Last bit. Um, yeah. Guy walks up. And he's like, "What? What can I do?" And he's staring. I'm like, "Here's what you do, buddy. You got to call them up, and they're closing soon. So, <laughs> if you know what you want, just call them right now and ask them, and they'll hook you up." Mm-hmm. And then we both sort of stood there, and he was waiting for after I got my my man was not the same man as his. That's a little weird, but okay. 
I mean, I'm just it's saying. Okay. It is. It's a little weird. It's DC. But... DC's a little weird and kind of it's a true. cool way. I got to see all the... <laughs> Mandy walked me through the cap, drove me through the Capitol. That's Lou's sister. We went to a, the public library and I saw this oh, really nice. famous piece of one, of one of my most cherished pieces of gear I've ever seen in my life, which is the four track mixing board from Don Zantera's studio. He recorded all of the early Discord stuff on this machine, and I got to see the machine That's and the so tape cool. machine, and I was touched. Did you Did you take a pic? Many. <laughs> oh, no, that's super. so sweet. I was very, I was very, very pleased to see that. At the, you, you, and then so. we haven't caught up since uh, Philly, right? And then you got to have a fun night hanging out with Kurt Vile and a few of his brothers, right? You, you used your magic pass. And helped move them from behind the stage to in front of the stage to behind the stage, right? Yeah, and I could have actually been still wearing my Mr. Rogers t shirt. <laughs> so, yeah, like, yeah, Kurt, it was fun. I was like helping Kurt go back and forth between backstage, and he was just curtaining all over it. And it was great. He's awesome. That's so sweet. Yeah. He, he talked, he, he and Wayne kind of chatted for a while, which was awesome you know Wayne really amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah Wayne yeah, Wayne Coyne no he like he uh <laughs> it's great he kind of he was asking Kurt all kinds of fun questions just like wow. are your kids musical you know do you yeah. play music with them how's that work how old are they you know just we it you know uh the the talks about kids are fun yeah yep and now Lots you're in Knoxville, high as a kite, on your DC edibles, mm -hmm. and you're writing some songs that sound very open, very petty inspired. I would say, um, mm -hmm. "Free Fallen, Baby," I like it. You know, yeah. just uh, it's true. good. Keep working on that tune. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I'm here. <laughs> Whew, it was a close call there. All right. Ay ay ay. <laughs> Slow your roll there, sir. <laughs> Stick to Thank the one. You. Stick to the one and a half, okay? And don't, you know, okay. don't get too yeah, crazy. Thank you for listening to Tony Tunes Tuesday. My name is Lavoro. It's been a pleasure to be uh, speaking with my wife Adele for this and playing you a new song. Thank you. What's that new song called? Uh another town oh, another day <laughs> that's a another good town what's yeah. a great americana what's a what is what's oh, a great city? that's a total americana title another town another let's town let's see where we are let's or, see where uh, we are let's see where we are no that's too poetic almost yeah. um yeah, another town, another day, another town, another. I kind of wanted to call it another day because my favorite song about touring uh -huh. was done by a band called the Moguls from the '60s. Like they were mm. kind of a garage band, but they played ski resorts. They were called I the Moguls. I love that. And they look so cool too. It's like if you can imagine, because I think at that time, like six, like mid '60s, the kids that were like going to ski resorts. Oh, I'm, I love that visual. I love yeah. that visual. Oh, they I want to wear their turtleneck must, sweater. Mustangs, there. exactly. They they have pictures mm. of them looking badass, mm. and they have an incredible song called "Another Day." Mm. Kind of sounds like the Kinks, but it's fucking unbelievably good, and it's about touring. So I'm I would like to. Up. I like mm. I like using titles to give. Sort of, you know, subtle tribute to other nod, songs. Nod, a I, little nod. This is Stuffy Bunks. We're gonna have to cut this this short right here. <laughs> Lou goes a bit off the rails. <laughs> it was a long, weird night last night, Lou. Good, good one. <laughs> and thanks for acknowledging Whistling Willie. He does, he does his job. <laughs> He's a good addition to a dream. <laughs> All right. This is the end of Tiny Toons Tuesday. I'm Stuffy Bunks. Raw impressions.